Hello Libra, Libra Rising. This is your June Love Focus reading from me, Ali from Hypno You. This is a general reading for all Libra, but if you would like something more specific to your life, then please head to my website www.hypnoyouali.com. Alternatively, if you do have one question that you just need the answer to, I have a $35 pay at PayPal offer. That's paid at hypnoyouali at hotmail.com for the address, uh, email and for the PayPal. Once those funds are cleared, I will answer that directly in the order that they are done. Now, there is a Mercury retrograde going on, so things from the past will be popping up. People from the past will be popping up, um, rehashing old wounds. Also, please do check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, as each video will give you a little bit more clues to how things will go. Um, I have picked one card for the overall tone of the month. And then I have chosen one card for each week during June. I've chosen four cards. So uh, Libra, the very first card we have is the Four of Pentacles. Now this is about you choosing your worth and not settling. Not settling for anything less than what you truly deserve. And I feel like sometimes Libra, there's some of us that um, feel undeserving, feeling unworthy. Um, from whatever from the past whether it be uh, an ex that's cheated or from you know your childhood and realizing that you actually um, are worth something and you do deserve great love I feel like sometimes uh, loneliness can take over so you might settle for less rather than being single so during this month please do make sure that you are not settling for anything than the very best because you are the very best you are perfect just the way that you are and and you don't need to settle you do not need to settle you will not be on your own forever so that's the tone for the entire month so there will be um, some sort of a control thing going on uh, finding balance finding how, you know what you know your your mind your soul your heart you know really getting that connection going and really being sure of what your decisions are First week, well, if you are single, expect to meet someone new who will be very, very uh, chivalrous and have great manners. Now, he's not in a hurry. Uh, he's taking his time and his cup is not wavering at all. So he's very sure of his feelings. He's very sure of himself. Uh, in relationships, uh, expect, 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 expect. Uh, so babies, 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 be very, very careful um, in the first week of June. Um, just in case. Um, someone could be putting someone on a pedestal. Very hard to live up to those expectations. If it's you, cut it out. If someone's doing that to you, you know, just, just try and let them know that you are human. You will make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Um, but this should be a really wonderful uh, week of, of, you know, love and respect and feeling strong. Well, the second week, well, we have the star card. So singles will be uh, going out and meeting new people and feeling strong about that. You'll be feeling like the star of the show. Now, this is an Aquarius card. So it could be an Aquarius coming up in your life, Libra. Or this could be seen as a water card. So Pisces, uh, Cancer, or Scorpio. So um, feeling strong, feeling sure, clarity, focus, really knowing what you want. Feeling a starry-eyed over someone or someone starry-eyed over you. Uh, being the star of the show. Uh, this is balancing two. So there could be two people being balanced here. Or that you are finding a nice balance between your love life, your home life, uh, love life and work life. Okay. So this is a wonderful second week. Third week, uh, accusations. Be careful you're not pointing the finger or the finger's being pointed back to you. Uh, Mercury retrograde, uh, classic miscommunication, classic lost phones, um, text not going through, emails, um, cars broken down, uh, delays, cancellation, uh, all those different things. Uh, it's going to happen. Uh, you have been forewarned. Um, so if anything does come up, just be careful not to jump to conclusions. Be very careful not to get over emotional or over excited. These cards are very similar to, uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure that these are exactly the same cards as what I got earlier on. So please do check your rising and your moon sign as well. So don't be over emotional. Don't be overreacting. Um, don't let miscommunication ruin you. Because I think that what will happen is if you do it, uh, after it's over, you go, oh gosh, I wish I hadn't have done that. But it's too late because you've already done it. You know what I mean? So forewarned. Um, this is also about messages. 
um, aim and direction as well. So Mercury retrograde messages will be getting lost. Now in the fourth week, you um, might be stuck in the choice of moving on. Now moving on between two people or you've been offered a great job so you have to choose you know, your career or your love. Uh, will your partner come with you? There's a choice to be made which is moving. Okay, so moving in the fourth week, uh, do, are you deciding to stay or go um, in a relationship sense? Or is this about, um, I've just met someone, but my work wants me to move to another state. You know, so there will be a choice and there will involve distance. Uh, it could be that you met someone online um, at a far distance. And so the choice is to continue with this or not, is there any point? Uh, so singles, you might be stuck between two. You might uh, not know which way to go between two, all right? So that is your tarot portion. Let me choose one angel card for you, Libra. Yeah, so there's definitely moves. There's definitely moves. So a happy shift to a new home or new workplace is definitely uh, on in the cards. And it's going to bring a new fresh energy and new fresh motion. So Libra, that is your June love focus reading. And I shall see you next month.